Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. This video is sponsored by Scentbird and I'll be looking at three top colognes worn by celebrities. Stay tuned to FM. Before I reveal who my three celebrities are, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my sponsor today. Scentbird are a company based in the US. They are a monthly fragrance subscription service. You can choose from over 150 colognes. They've got designers like Dolce & Gabbana, Tom Ford, even niche fragrances like Amouage and Montau. You're going to pay $14.95 a month. For that, you're going to get free shipping and also one of these sexy little sprayers. You get 8 mil in here, so it's going to last you around about a month and these sprayers are just really nice. You can see the logo just on the side. All you've got to do to spray is twist and spray. Simple as that. If you want to take the vial out, what you need to do is twist again, take it out and there you have the juice to put it back in. Simple as that. So what are the benefits of using a monthly subscription service like Scentbird? Well, the first thing is you may not want to commit to the cost of a full bottle. They can be very expensive and if you've got a few bottles in your collection, you may not want to have a full bottle. So just to have an 8ml month supply is a great option. The other thing is, I don't know about you, but when you're going into department stores, I can find it difficult to get the scent of a fragrance just sniffing it off paper. I need to live with a fragrance. I need to spend at least a week wearing a fragrance on my skin, see how it works with my skin chemistry, see what the CR, see what the projection is like. So just testing in store really isn't something that I'll usually do and then make a purchase. The other thing is you can be smelling so many different scents in a department store that you can get a little bit confused and struggle to distinguish the differences between the scents. And two things have happened to me in the past doing this. I can either walk out and not decide on a fragrance, so I walk out empty handed, no good. Uh, the other thing is that you can walk out, this is even worse, you can walk out with a fragrance that once you start wearing it, you can suddenly realize that you're not that happy with it and once you've sprayed it, once you've started using it, then you're not going to be able to take it back to the store. So Scentbird is a great way of just getting an idea of a fragrance, trying it out, having it for a month, really getting a good sense of the fragrance and then if you really like it, maybe you'll buy a full bottle after that. At this point, I'm going to make an apology to everyone else in the world apart from the US. I realise Scentbird are a US company and I know a lot of my subscribers aren't based in the US. Don't worry, I am thinking of you. I'm going to do a giveaway at the end of this video. I'll be giving away one of Scentbird's sprayers. The giveaway will be open internationally, so keep watching till the end of the video and find out what you need to do to be in with a chance to win one of these little sprayers. Alright, now it's time for my first celebrity. This guy has got to be one of my favourite actors. He didn't used to be, he used to be just more of kind of a, a heartthrob actor in a few chip flicks, but in recent years he's really just got his teeth into some fantastic character driven roles. I love films, I love cinema, and this guy has been in some fantastic TV, some fantastic movies. It is Matthew McConaughey. So I'm sure you know which fragrance I'm going to mention because he has fronted an advertising campaign for this scent and it is Dolce & Gabbana's The One. So Dolce & Gabbana's The One is just such a beautiful fragrance. Honestly, this could be one of the fragrances to own for life and no others. It just works in all occasions, it's super versatile, you can wear it any time of the year. It's classy, it's refined, it's elegant. Notes in this, we've got some grapefruit, ginger, cardamom, basil, and those smooth citruses and sweet spices are just then supported amazingly well by one of my favorite notes in fragrances, and that is the note of tobacco. And the note of tobacco in here is just so smooth and gorgeous and rich and luxurious. If you wear Dolce & Gabbana as the one, it's guaranteed to make you feel all right, all right, all right. My next celebrity is actor, producer, and former model, Ashton Kutcher. Ashton's been in loads of movies. He's a great guy. He's in my second favorite movie of all time about Steve Jobs, and he's definitely in my top two actors of all time to play Steve Jobs. Uh, second favorite. Anyway, He's a guy with great fashion sense, so it goes without saying, he's probably got a good taste in frags as well, and he does 
our boy Ashton's choice is the original John Vavetos. John Vavetos is bold and modern and sophisticated. It's infused with a sensuous yet relaxed feeling. Prominent notes in this are Indian fig leaf, fig fruit, clary sage, leather, plum. It's also got a gorgeous spice sweet cinnamon accord and it's all rounded out beautifully by a lovely creamy sandalwood. I don't own any John Vavetos in my collection. I did test and do a review on Artisan Pure. Unfortunately, it was a small sample and I smashed it. So I got chance to, to sample it, but I haven't really had chance to wear it all that much. So I'm really pleased to have this one in my collection. Our next celebrity is one of my favorite Aussie actors. He's famous for sticking his claws into the bad guys. It is Hugh Jackman. Hugh's choice of scent is from the house of Tom Ford. It has notes of grapefruit, orange blossom, nutmeg, oak moss, amber, and uh, uh, there's one other note, what is it? Um, begins with a V, uh, vetiver, vetiver. Uh, the fragrance is Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. This is a great choice, it's a bold, masculine scent. It's also got a lightness to it, it fizzes off the skin, it's great for any occasion, great as a casual day scent, a work scent, or you can dress this one up in the evenings as a really classy, sophisticated scent. Hugh Jackman has been quoted as saying that he loves to spritz this each night before he goes out on stage. The reason for that is he wants every night to feel like it's a special night, and Grey Vetiver certainly does that. If it's good enough for Wolverine, it's good enough for me. Giveaway time. I'm going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber my 8 mil vial from Scentbird of Dolce & Gabbana's The One For Men. I don't really need this because I already own a bottle. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's one of my favourite designers. If you want to be in with a chance to win this, it's so simple. All you need to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment below and you're in with a chance. What I'm going to do is use a random comment picker to pick the winner and I will pin it in bold as the top comment underneath this video. So check back in a week's time to see if you're the winner. Okay, that's enough from me. What I'm going to do is leave a link to Scentbird's website, which will be in the description below this video. So if you feel like you want to make any purchases, click on that link and it'll take you straight there. If you do want to make a purchase, be sure to use my discount code, FRAGMENTAL30, which will give you 30% off your first purchase. Thanks for watching everybody. If you've got any comments about any of these fragrances, I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to enable notifications. And until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. Twist it and you're good to go. Ooh, that smells good. All right, all right, all right. It's guaranteed to make you feel all right, all right, all right. It's guaranteed to make you feel, it's guaranteed to make you feel all right, all right, all right. Full time about Steve Jobs. And he's definitely one of my top two actors of all times to play Steve Jobs, uh, the Jobs, the second actually, uh, to play Steve Jobs, the second, um, Steve Jobs, the, Steve Jobs, second favourite, anyway.